come to this ecumenical rally, the Spirit of Prophecy brings out the first thing they met was the music, and the music broke down their inhibition, mirth, dancing, drinking, and finally they bowed down to idols. Oh, saints, we are preparing to bow down to the owl Sabbath called Sunday. That's the reason the prophet says the church appeared as about to fall, but it would not fall. Praise God. It will remain while the sinners in Zion are shaken out. Brothers and sisters, I want to be a part of those that stand. I hope you are selling in your mind that you also want to be a part of those that stand. Let us continue. I don't know how much time I have left. Let's see what we can do. Neil C. Wilson, the father of our president, our, our, our president right now. This is Neil C. Wilson. This is the father. He was a president also. This is what Neil C. Wilson said. He said it back in 1974-1975. I want you to show now how this, this, this Catholic belief, how, this, we, this, it, it, how we're changing. Although it is true that there was a period in the life of the Seventh-day Adventist church when the, the denomination took a distinctly anti-Roman Catholic viewpoint, that attitude on the church's part was nothing more than a manifestation of widespread anti-popery among conservative Protestant denominations in the early part of this century and the latter part of the last. So Neil C. Wilson says that this is just uh, anti-popery on the part of the conservative Protestant denomination. So he said, we, 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 we don't believe this anymore. That's what he's saying. He says, and which has now been consigned to the historical trash heap so far as the Seventh-day Adventist Church is concerned. Neil C. Wilson, past president of the Seventh-day Adventist General Conference, court transcript of United States versus the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, versus the Pacific Press Publishing Association and the General Conference reply brief for defense. So this is a legal document in which this man says that our anti-popery beliefs have been consigned to the historical trash heap. Now, saints, I had hoped to finish this in six discs, but it looks like I'm gonna have to go to seven discs. So, we're just going to have to come to an end right here and produce a seventh disc. Now, we will definitely be able to finish it in seven. So I just want you to hang with me because I want you to see where we are, what's going on, and you will see that this investigator's judgment is about to pass from the dead to the living. We will pick right up here in disc seven of this series, which will be our final disc the investigators judgment. Let us pray. Father in heaven, again, in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. And dear God, we pray, first of all, that we will be ready. We are not throwing stones here, Lord. We're simply, by the grace of God, revealing the enemy, what he has done to try to infiltrate your church. And we pray, Lord, that this information will, will cause eyes to be opened and they will run to you. Lord, that they will give their heart totally and completely to you, that they will study. And they will be a part of your team to finish this work. Thank you, dear Lord, for hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name.